Hi guys, back with me again. This is Mega. For you who don't know me, and I'm sure there will be a lot, maybe most of you. So I'm Mega, and I'm doing like videos before for makeup and products review. And it's been a half year since the, my last video, and a lot has happened, like a lot. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, everybody, and Happy Valentine's Day, and yeah, almost Happy Easter as well. Oh my God! Oh, oh my God! So in today's video, I will not be talking about beauty or makeup reviews or something like that. I'll be talking about uh, my experiences um, about living in Darwin, and because I've lived here for a year and three months, I believe. And all I can say that um, this is the first time I live here. Like I live abroad from my away from my parents and family. So despite all the hardships, all the struggles, all the all the laundry, the cooking, the bad food that I cook. <laughs> like I don't really cook. I never cooked before in my hometown, like in my house. So. Despite all of that struggles, this is actually a very eye-opening experience for me. And despite all the midnight drooling over some foods on the internet, like from my hometown, it's really, really... I had those nights. <laughs> but this is an amazing experience, so... Yeah, all I can say is that Darwin is a very unique city. And I'll be talking about my experience, like I'll be taking you through f my points of view um, in living in about living in Darwin. So I've got it here because I'm not good at memorizing. Like I made this literally, literally last night. So I just want to make sure that I don't miss any point tonight, like today. So yeah, I hope you stay tuned. Please don't run away. Please don't do that because that sucks for me and you. <laughs> If you want, can you just leave some comments down below? Like, what are you looking for in Darwin? Like, why are you clicking on this video? So there must be a reason that you are clicking on this video. And I just want to know about that. So yeah, um, first of all, I want to explain where Darwin is. Like, geographically. Geographically. <laughs> So according to Wikipedia, I'll just I'm just gonna read from Wikipedia because Wikipedia is no. <laughs> so Darwin is the capital city of the Northern Territory of Australia, and Darwin is situated um, on the Timor Sea. Darwin is the largest city, largest city in the sparsely populated Northern Territory with a population of 145,000. It is the smallest and the most northerly of the capital, like of the Australian capital cities. And um, Darwin, just like the end of the top end, has a tropical climate. So it's, it is very similar to Indonesia, like maybe Bali, if you know Bali, Jakarta, like most people only know Bali and Jakarta. So it has wet and dry season. Wet season is from November to April. And the rest is dry season, which is May to October. And um, it is really prone to cyclone activity during the wet season, which I don't like because it is still wet season here right now. A few times a week, there will be a lot of rain. Like, not like rain, it's like storm. So, this past few months have been nightmare. I've been experiencing this two times. And with the heavy rains and um, you know the crazy high humidity it's really hot but during dry sun I think it's quite alright like it's not like, like I love the, the clear skies the sunsets and the sea breeze Ooh, I love that and yeah so I'm just going to state five points here since I talked too much already yeah so let's get it started okay the first one Darwin is a small city. It is small, like small. What do you expect from a hundred and forty-five thousand populated city? I don't. I didn't expect much, and when I came here, I was shocked. It's just maybe because Darwin is big, 
like the place itself, it's big. Most people are living in the suburbs, so it's quite spread out. So in the city itself, you can only find a few bars, clubs, and something like that, and restaurant, like really, really limited choices of entertainment in the city. So yeah, that leads me to the second point actually. The second point is not many entertainment options. Maybe you just bored because you have been working all week like 60 hours a week like me and you just want to chill somewhere so you probably find your ass you probably <laughs> not find your ass i mean you will probably like um finding yourself dragging your ass to the nearest clubs or bars with some friends in the city most are in the city and it's only a few but one thing i like traders bar and discovery traders because the back of the bar is really pretty so it's got some couches some lights beautiful lights so you can just chill there and discovery it's some nightclubs because because of the choice of music i think it's more modern and it has like modern touch as well it's cleaner as well i think it's the biggest one so if you like outdoor activities you can go to the beaches or you can go to the national park um, like Litchfield or Berry Springs but make sure you don't swim because Darwin is really famous for the crocs notorious for the crocs in the sea so I wouldn't recommend you to swim there do you know the catch thing like you can where you can swim with the crocs like a very very big crocs yeah, the one that um, that was on Running Man because I know that because I was there I followed them, I saw them I was like fangling okay, um, yeah, you can swim with the crocs if you want just come for a few days and swim with the crocs and tag a picture and put it on your Instagram and people will be like wow, you swim with the crocs okay, it's just a picture but yeah, I'm not, I mean the crocodile is real, but some people just go there because they want to take a picture So yeah, of course. So yeah um, You can also go to the beaches, but don't forget to put on sunscreen and don't go to What I have been talking about that like don't swim and don't forget to put on the sunscreen because really bad sun Sun is really bad, especially here So other option for entertainment is that maybe the cinema or Kingpin, I really love Kingpin so it has like this arcade thing like bowling area and laser tag of course <laughs> who doesn't like laser tag? I am crazy about laser tag but I, my friends don't so you probably find myself going there by myself alone <laughs> and, and there will be some markets like um, in the city, not in the city, like some markets. My favorite is Minil Beach Night Market because um, simply because it's the largest, the biggest, and it it's just amazing because it's by the sea, like by by the beach. Like it's got a variety of foods as well, like Asian, Western, and crocodile meat, kangaroo meats, or something like that. So you can just um, buy the foods and go to the beach and just enjoy the sunset, which is the third point Darwin's sunset are gold gold it's just amazing I really love the sunset here because you can never know what color the sunset will be tonight pink blue sky and then someday it will be orange someday it will be red I really love it here actually like I've been to a couple of other cities as well like Melbourne and Brisbane and they are not as good at sunsetting <laughs> the sunset are not as good as um, the ones in Darwin so if you really enjoy the sunset looking at the sky or something I really love looking at the sky um, like in the morning like sunrise sunsets or at night I really love it and if you like it you'll enjoy the sunset here because it's really amazing one day the sky was red blood blood red it was sunrise before the sunrise but it's really amazing that it's red i've never seen that before it was kind of scary but 
amazing as well so i'll be um showing you the pictures maybe here or somewhere or and the fourth is limited public transport if you live here without a car you'll probably find yourself relying on um buses not so much for taxi even uber we don't have uber here the buses runs every day but it's not like a 24 7 thing so it's usually start at 5 o'clock in the morning till maybe around 10 or 11 depending on the route and the days that's why i prefer to just go around the city because i live in the city for the bus it's like three dollars for three hours so you can take as many rides as possible in this three hours and it's free if you would like to rent some bike there is a spinway bike thingy so there are 10 spots where you can run the bike and it's it's quite expensive though $14 $14 for one hour and then $33 for three hours no four hours I mean and for a day you can get it with $44 so yeah oh and about the buses there will be like 10 to 15 minutes um, gap between each buses between each bus so you probably don't want to be late for a bus because you need to wait for another 10 minutes for another bus to come and it sucks it can even be longer for like unpopular road and number five finally it is the last point so it's a pretty safe city um, for a year living here and you know I work early in the morning well well you probably don't know because i haven't told you before but i work very early in the morning and finish very very late like very late 2 a.m late 1 a.m late and i walk from my um, apartment to my workplace and i i thankfully thank god thanks thank you i've never experienced any bad things thank you so much when I say this I feel really thankful because um, two of my friends one got punched in the face by the people here got punched in the face and the, the other one got dragged off the bike which is going to be very traumatic for me I think um, that's super super horrifying it's super scary but I've never experienced that and I barely even hear like any stories about murders or accident, car accident or something like that. The, the amount of the crime is lower than um, the big cities, of course, because only like like it's, it's a pretty small city. Like everybody knows each other. Not like village small, but still, um, the more people, the more crimes there will be. So I think it's a pretty much um, a pretty safe city to live in. That's all my five points. Um, I can't talk much about the living cost because I've never been, I've never lived in any other city than Darwin, so I can't really compare those subjects. But um, from my experience, like I went on a vacation to Melbourne and Brisbane, all I can say is that the foods are relatively a bit more expensive than any other city. But because the salary is um, higher, way higher, like high. Hi, so I'm not sure um, how am I going to survive from two other cities but yeah so it's it's quite fair because the salary is higher you can survive here like me I live here for a year already I wouldn't say that I am a city girl but I love to be entertained oh the good thing is that I have internet so that's probably why I can live here for that one year so that's why I survived but if you're more like a city person you probably find this city a bit boring all right that's the end of my video I hope this explains um, pretty much everything you want to know about Darwin I'm, I'm sure I didn't cover everything but still I tried my best and in the future I really want to do videos whether it's about makeup or product reviews I found a lot of people like more more interested in my product reviews than my um, makeup videos so I'll probably be doing that a lot in the future we'll see how it goes though because I'm, I'm still really busy at the moment like maybe in a few months I'll try to post a regular videos like maybe once a week no not once a week I can't do that and before I end this video I just want to say that 
I am really thankful and I'm really happy that some people like I got I've got some comments I've got some like views and likes and I really appreciate that it feels really rewarding and um, really satisfying for me as the the video maker so I really thank you for that and um, please show me some support if you want I'm not I'm not insisting that you have to but still if you support me please leave some comments down there or likes here videos here uh, videos subscribes here so yeah i'll see you on the next video i cannot wait to do that okay bye, -bye.